Sam Pitoda, the overseas head of Congress, recently has made a statement that the Eastern India people looked more like Chinese and the Southern India people more look like Africans and the Western India people they look like Arabs and the Northern India people look like whites. A very mischievous statement. This is not the first time that our culture is being attacked by the so-called the Westerners or or the the so-called the, the the Christian uh, religion based people. Earlier, there was a theory. Even today in South, they believe that there is an Aryan invasion theory. Aryan invasion theory, where neither it is literary not archaeological it was purely political and religious if they accept this kind of misrepresentations of their own culture so silently and passively the state of affairs will continue and they will have no one to blame except themselves one has to feel that misrepresentations of this culture are not a matter to be taken lightly a number of hindus read and accept whatever was written by scholars like Max Muller, Monier Williams and others. It is about this time that Hindu scholars carefully study the information, evidence and available and try to establish the dating of the Vedas. The Aryan invasion theory, it was actually cooked up to divide ourselves, the India. The British archaeologist, there is one culprit called Wheeler. He was supposed to have been the first who has forwarded this Aryan invasion theory. The Wheeler is the first culprit, Max Muller, all these people. Okay, now come to this theory. What is this theory? The date of invasion of Aryan theory, the Aryans have come into the India is 1500 BC. How was this day? This date was arrived at? Well-known scholars of the 19th century believed in biblical chronology. According to the date of then the creation of earth is widely supposed to have been 4000 years, 4000 BC, this earth has been created. There is a pralaya, according to them, it is called as a flood. This flood was dated around 2500 BC. Keeping these two dates, the date of Aryan invasion was speculated and planted at 1500 BC. Since the Indus Valley culture was earlier than this, they concluded that it had to be pre-Aryan. The pre-Aryan was Indus. They don't accept Indus Valley culture as our culture. They say it's pre-Aryan culture. After that, Aryans came. The Western Indologist also made questionable interpretation of the Rig Veda, ignoring the, completely ignoring the sophisticated culture presented with it. In the end, the Vedic culture was said to be that of the primitive nomads who came from Central Asia. The hypothesis of an Aryan invasion was based the conflicts between the light-skinned Aryans and the dark race Dravidans described in the Vedic they say that it is described let us see this this aspect is said to have been reinforced by skeletal findings in the excavated sites they have excavated few sites and they say this is the proof now let us come to this literary first we will see literary evidence Scientific evidence, archaeological evidence. First, the Indo-Aryan invasion of India, no direct evidence is available. Indian Vedic scholars, Sri Dayanan Saraswati, Sri Balagangadhar Tilak, rejected the Aryan invasion theory based on literary works. Now, let us see the literary works. If the, if the invasion theory is correct, then they would call for a concrete evidence regarding four or five things. Number one is, Foreign lands, which foreign land they have come from? Let us examine this. Migration from foreign lands into India. We will verify this also. References to non-Aryan original inhabitants. That also we will verify. References to conflict between the so-called Aryan invaders and non-Aryan aboriginals here. That also has to be verified. So let us look at the literary work. Rig Veda. Rig Veda does not contain one single reference which provides the actual evidence in respect of any of the four mentioned I have mentioned above. All conclusions have been arrived at based on inferential, it's a speculation. Not a single reference suggesting that an invasion occurred up, appears in the 1,552 verses of Rig Veda. Not even one place it is. 
mentioned. So they don't want to consider Rig Veda. Also, the Rig Veda does not contain any reference to any foreign place west of Afghanistan from where these invaders are supposed to have come. They say Persia. Once again, the Rig Veda contains no reference to people speaking non-Indo-European languages. It mentioned about Sanskrit, which is what non-Aryan basically, you know, they say. No, no, look at literary work of Ambedkar. He, he has given some following conclusions. The Vedas do not know any such race as Aryan race. There is no evidence in the Vedas of any invasion of India by Aryan race. And it's having conquered the Dravidians. No. There is no evidence to show that the distinction between Aryans and Dravidians. The Vedas do not support the contention that the Aryans were different in color from the Dravidians. So this is a literary re uh, refusal, totally rejection. Let us come to the scientific verification. On one hand, we have vast Vedic literature without any archaeological findings associated with them. On the other hand, we have 2500 archaeological sites from Indus Saraswata civilization, Saraswati river without any literature associated with it. As evidence started pouring in, it became more evident that the two cultures, that of the invader and the invaded, are one and the same. It is one and the same. When Saraswati river got dried up, they started moving towards down. The, then the paradox then ceases to exist. Now look at Saraswati river. The largest concentration of Vedic culture appears in the area of Punjab, and Rajasthan near the dry banks of the ancient Saraswati river. The Vedic culture was said to have been founded between the banks of these two rivers. The mighty river Saraswati was lauded as the main river in the Vedas. Vedic people were fully acquainted with this river and revered it. It was one of the largest rivers then. However, the Saraswati river dried up. When it, when it got dried up, uh, it was actually several independent studies indicate that the period is 1900 BC. What sort of studies it was con conducted using modern scientific methods such as satellite imagery, dating techniques. It can be shown that the ancient statements of the Vedas are exactly matching, factual, not mythical, as erroneously propagated by these people. High resolution satellite images have been verified. Descriptions of the Rig Veda of the descendant of the Saraswati river from the source of Himalayas to the Arabian Sea. Now it's under the, this thing, earth. The Saraswati river and its civilizations was referred to in, in Rig Veda more than 50 times, proving that the drying up of the Saraswati river was subsequent to the origin of the Rig Veda, pushing this date of the origin back into antiquity, casting further doubt on the imaginary date for the so-called Aryan invasion. Now it's over. Now look at the archaeological evidences. Excavation of Port of Dwaraka is one of the important this thing. Astronomical dating has been done in our Anchankams. They say Yuga. And Yuga this Kali Yuga itself is 1,43,000 years. Now only 5,000 years have gone by. So when Saraswati river got dried up, the people started moving towards the other because their, their occupation was agriculture. They were rivering cows. So they have just moved into the other part where they could find water source. So where is our, these three people, particularly Max Muller, the Williams, these people have propagated this theory of Aryan invasion like as it is being now being attempted by Sam Pritoda who says that Indian natives, they owe their origins to those four important countries like China, Arabia or Africa or English. This is totally mischievous. If this trend continues, then as we have accepted the English calendar, the Gregorian stolen calendar from Egypt as our calendar, as we have accepted macular system of education and destroyed our Vedic education, a day will come whatever repeatedly these lies are being told, our future generations will start believing that there is no native Indian Bharat do not have this rich culture, but we are all from those four countries. This race does not belong to this great Bharat. So it has to be, the action has to be taken immediately to educate the younger generation about our rich culture, the Vedic culture, and not to fall prey for this mischievous 
propaganda of the westerners 